hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new hi my name is Shani thank you for clicking on this video but in today's video I'm going to be doing the Google picks my makeup challenge I came across this challenge on Nikki tutorials channel and I was like hmm, it looks like a fun challenge to do and I'm in the space where I'm trying a lot of new things on my channel and I think you guys are liking it because sometimes just bringing you guys tutorials is kind of boring you know what I'm saying I need to spice it up a little bit you know so in her video she typed in the first letter of her first name and the first letter of her last name into Google and then put looks after it so that's what I'm going to do okay so I'm typing in the first letter of my first name and the first letter of my last name and I'm going to put looks after it okay so the first thing that pops up is this picture right here so this is really basic so I'm going to find another look I probably should do something yellow but I don't have a yellow eyeshadow that I'm really liking right now that's going to pop up on my skin tone so I'm not going to do that yet it's on my to-do list I think I like this one okay so this is the picture that I chose because I didn't want to do the gray look because I just literally did a gray smoky eye well it was a gunmetal smoky eye I'll link that in my cards or in the description box um but yeah I didn't want to do something basic so so the first color that I see is pink it looks purple doesn't it but then it looks pink so I'll do something with that and then I see a red boot in the picture and then I see orange right here yeah i see black so i'll use black as the eyeliner um i see gold in this picture there's like a hint of gold in the picture so i can do something with that all right so let's go ahead and hop into this challenge um i don't know what i'm about to do i need to pull out some makeup because i honestly i don't have anything really in front of me right now but a whole bunch of concealers so i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and i'll be right back okay so my eyebrows are done and my eyelids are primed so i went through majority of my palettes looking for a eyeshadow that looks this color but i don't have a eyeshadow that is this specific color so i got this i call this my skittles palette i was thinking this color was probably going to be it or this color was going to be it but i feel like this color is pulling more purple so i think i'm going to go in with a color like this then i was looking in my makeup shayla palette which i've been using the heck out of lately i just dropped my phone and i was like hey i can use this color and i haven't used this color yet so I think I'm going to be using this as the mobile eyelid color. So y'all get my drift? There's like yellows up here, like the lights I can see yellow. And the orange will be my transition color, so I'll use that as my transition color. I'm just talking it out, I'm trying to figure out what I'm about to do. So I'm going in with thick, and I'm using my Morphe M441 brush. Okay, so I'm just starting off by patting this in my crease first. Okay, so now I'm going in with Red Brick from MAC to make this orange brighter. So the next one I'm taking is Chrome Yellow from MAC. And I'm just going to pat this over top to kind of blend the edges out. Okay, so now I'm going to take shade from the Makeup Shayla palette right here and pop this on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm using my Morphe M514 brush. And I'm just going to pop this in my crease. I don't want to take it up too high, so I'm going to change brushes. Okay, so I'm switching to my Morphe M506 brush. This brush right here. And then I'm going back in with the orange to blend the edges out. Okay, so hopefully this color is pigmented enough because I'm not going to blink out my eyelids again. I'm just going to like go over it with the primer and do like the scattered blown out eyeshadow look. So it's not structured, it just looks blended. So I'm taking the NYX pigment primer and I'm going to put this on the back of my hand. And to apply, I'm using this oversized eyeshadow brush. So I'm picking it up on this brush 
and I'm pressing the primer into the brush and I'm just going to put this on my mobile eyelid I want this right in my eye socket okay so I'm taking another jumbo eyeshadow looking brush and this is from Morphe this is the M407 brush and I'm going to take September and I'm just going to press this over the ah, it's so pigmented I was not expecting that at all wow Shayla every time I use this palette I'm impressed and I know some of you guys said I made you buy the whole Shayla collection and honestly I really hope you guys like it because yo well if you didn't buy the whole collection if you got the eyeshadow palette your life is made the only palette I've really been using is her palette okay so I'm just gonna blend out the edges a little bit it does look a little harsh right here and I'm blending it outward just a look if my fan is annoying you guys I do apologize but y'all it's hot and I'm that type of person that does not like being hot at all like it's really bad I don't like being hot it's terrible okay so basically what I just did is wing out shade so it looks like I'm making a wing so it's kind of like going like this to my eyes now I'm gonna put on some liner okay so I'm gonna smoke out my liner so I'm going to take this brush no. so I'm gonna smoke out my liner and I'm using my Morphe M156 brush and I'm using this side of the brush first okay so I'm smoking out this liner with corrupt from makeup peak I need like a flat definer brush. I'm trying to make this liner thicker. Okay, there we go. And I'm also gonna press up here to blend out the liner. And I'm just using pressing motions like this to blend it out. So press and flick, press and flick. And then I'm going back in with shade. To blend out this outer corner for lashes I have on the salon perfect lashes in 614 and the kiss lashes in 11 okay so lashes are on I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup off camera and I will be right back to finish off my eyes okay so I'm taking my Maybelline eye studio gel liner and I'm using the smudger brush from coastal sense to apply the liner and I'm just pressing it like this now I'm just going in and setting the eyeliner with corrupt from makeup geek and I'm using the same Sigma e68 brush and I'm taking shade and you just want to take your time to smoke out this bottom area because if you go too overboard then it might start looking raccoonish and you don't want that so just take your time stamp the color where you want it to be and then blend it out so you won't overdo it okay that looks good that was the M156 brush from Morphe now I'm going back in with the Morphe M431 brush, the color that I used to put on shade. And I'm just reinforcing that color. I feel like I'm using a lot of brushes, but it's okay. For my inner corner, I'm taking Motif from MAC, and this is a duo chrome purple shade that I love. And we're just gonna pop this right on the inner corner of the eye. And this is a I think this is a Coastal Sense brush and I'm just pushing this color right up into September from the ColourPop palette. I think I'm going to add glitter. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of glitter and I'm taking the Stila Liquid Eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to use this brush and this is a Coastal Sense brush and I'm just going to pick up some of the eyeshadow off of the applicator 
Okay, so I'm just tapping it over the eyeshadow to get that like scattered glitter look. I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera, but that is what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna apply some mascara. This is the telescopic mascara from L'Oreal. The color is like spot on. Yo, this is actually so good. So I'm gonna use some of my Fenty Beauty highlighters. Okay, so I'm using Ginger Binge and Moss. Gal Mule, and I'm just gonna mix them together. I already have blush on. I have on Desert Rose from MAC already. So I'm just gonna add to it by putting these on top. Is that too much? That look good? I really hope this looks good. <laughs> okay, so I had to braid my hair out of the way because it was just getting frizzier and frizzier by the second. So yeah, I just braided it up and I added some lashes to the bottom lash line. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I added some lashes just because. <laughs> now I'm going to add September from the Shayla palette onto my cheekbones to give it more of a runway type of look, you know? So that's on my cheekbones. And I'm going to just add some dots. I'm going to add one over here. Honestly, I don't even know if I like this anymore. This is like festival look slash borderline clown-ish glam makeup. I really don't know what's going on, but I tried. That is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video bye did it just freeze i feel like my phone just froze my phone just froze <laughs> what is wrong I'm trying to figure out if i want to like smoke out this liner do i want to smoke it out i think i do and the kiss lashes in 11. ouch i just pinched my eye ow that hurt <laughs>